Do you know what a DAO is? Decentralized Autonomous Organization? No? Don't worry, after this video, you won't be left with any more doubt. DAO, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. I'll explain you word by word, but in reverse order. First, organization. What are organizations? Let's take an example. Google, let's take the example of Google. YouTube is a product of Google. Let's just talk about Google. Google, what is Google? Google is an organization, but what really is Google? Is Google the building in which everybody works? In COVID, everybody is working from home. So it's not, definitely not building. Is Google the people who are working for Google? No, people can leave and more people can join in. What is Google? I don't know. What is Google? Here's the thing. Google is nothing. Google is just a shared belief and Google is just an entry in some database which is registrar of companies. So registrar of companies have maintains a database in which a lawyer whom anybody could can hire does some magic, writes some magical scripts, which are bylaws of the company and submits to the registrar of companies. And this registrar of companies puts one entry, says at this ID number, this new company, Google Inc has been incorporated and Thus, Google exists. This entry can own land, can own buildings, can charge money, can hire people, anything. This one entry. This one entry is what organization is. Even if the organization is stripped off with all the buildings, all the people, organization still exists. And you'll again have to call this lawyer. This lawyer will again draft some magical documents will submit it to registrar of companies and only and only then this company, this organization will be dissolved. The registrar of company will strike out this name and this company, this organization will cease to exist. So what is an organization? Organization is nothing but just one entry in some database. If this database is American database, this becomes an American incorporation. If this entry is in India's database, it becomes India's private limited company. If this entry is in Singapore's database, it becomes Singapore's private limited company. But if this database is blockchain, it becomes a DAO. Decentralized Autonomous Organization. The only difference is on which database this entry is getting made. That's it. That's the entire difference. Okay, so once this entry is made, how do you conduct your business? You need a bank account? Very good. What do you? What else do you need? You need to hire people. Of course, you need to pay their salaries. You need to do all sort of regulatory stuff. Of course, everything is fine. Now, in all of these things, what is absolutely necessary? Bank account. Definitely because there must be some place where money could be collected and then be divided as expenses to and be given out to different people and other institutes. DAO is a combination of these two things. DAO is first this entry in the database and second DAO is a collect is has also has a smart contract which is treasury smart contract. This smart contract just manages inflow and outflow of money. In case you're wondering what is a smart contract just watch my previous video where I tell about what smart contracts are. So DAO is just a collection of two things an entry in the database and second a smart contract that controls the treasury. Now we'll move on to autonomous part of DAO. What is an autonomous organization? What else is there? In an organization, some decisions would have to be made. Like what, what, what would this company do? What, how, how decisions would be made? So in typical organization, this decision making is distributed to the equity holders of the company, shareholders of the company. In private company, the shareholders are private. In public company, anybody could be a shareholder. So shareholders have the decision making power. But in terms of DAOs, there's no equity, there are no shares, then who makes the decision? There's something very similar to equity. These are called tokens of the DAO. These are governance tokens of the DAO. So a DAO, which is entry in the blockchain, also has power to issue tokens, which are like equity shares of the DAO, of this organization. Anybody who has tokens for this DAO can raise some ideas, some topics, some issues that has to be discussed and uh, a decision has to be made upon and the other holders can vote, can cast their vote and make their voices heard. Therefore, this organization becomes autonomous because nobody is controlling. There is no board of directors for this company. Anybody who can earn these tokens, anybody who can get these tokens has a voting power. And this autonomous organization becomes decentralized because it is on blockchain. Anybody, you do not need anybody's permission 
to get into a DAO, to contribute to a DAO, to take reward from the DAO, to cast your voice in the DAO, you do not have to take anybody's permission. So to summarize, a DAO is an entry on the blockchain, has a token and whoever has these tokens gets to cast their voice in the decision making of this DAO. These decisions could be about anything. What project should we start with? What should be the budget of each project? Uh, who do we give money to, to build this out, to build out this project? The decisions could be anything. And this DAO also has a treasury, which is like bank account. All the money that comes into this corporation comes into the treasury and all the expenses are paid through the treasury. And all of it is on blockchain in the decentralized world. So anybody, there's no need to audit. Anybody can go into the blockchain, really look at how the DAO is functioning. So DAO is what? It's just an organization which is autonomous. Anybody who has tokens can cast their voice and is decentralized. You do not have to take anybody's permission to contribute or to be get rewarded from a DAO. This is DAO. And if, if you still have any doubt, comments. Let me know in the comments. I answer every comment in my comment box because I'm such a tiny channel, I can afford to do so. I want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you in the comments. So please let me know so that I can make better videos. And if you just like this video, let me know with your favorite emoji. Just drop them in your comments. In your comments? In my comments. In my comment. Drop them in my comment box. I'm on a personal mission to bring 1 million more people into the Web3 crypto world by explaining complex topics in simple, simple words. It would mean a lot to me if you could bring 10 more of your friends. Everybody just bring 10 more of your friends and we hang out together over here. If you do not feel like you should share this video, it's still fine. I still love you. After this, we'll... Okay.